Today on Dad Hut, I'm gonna show you how to make your own backyard shooting range for your air gun or pellet gun. Let's go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Dad Hut so you don't ever miss any of these videos and check out our social media websites. Uh, all that will be linked down in the description. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made a backyard shooting range and this all stemmed and started from having a little visitor come into our backyard and I thought I need to get rid of this guy and find a way to get rid of him. I haven't thought about owning a pellet gun in a really long time. I haven't had a, a need for it until we had these uh, invaders in our backyard. But, you know, with the price of real ammo and how much it costs to get that ammo and then a range fee on top of that if you have to go to a local range, this is a great way to get some target practice in with a with an air rifle or a pellet gun um, and, and just do it right there in your backyard. And you don't have to leave the house. You don't have to put any money towards, you know, real ammunition uh, or anything like that. So it's a really cost effective way to just get in some practice or, you know, if you, you just have that itch that you want to go shooting today um, and you don't want to necessarily go spend, you know, 50 or 100 bucks or whatever it is uh, on some on some ammo and some range fees. So perfect way to, to do that. Okay, so let's head to the garage and let's start building. Okay, so this is a real steel sheet. Make sure you wanna use steel metal. This is about 12 inches by 24 inches. And all I'm gonna do here is build some uh, side pieces to connect to the steel so it can support it. They're two identical triangles. The size will depend on what size of sheet of steel you get. We're gonna put some holes in that steel so we can attach it to these two triangles and then build a just a square base piece to act as the floor or bottom of this trap. So here you are, you can see we're attaching the steel plate to those triangles. And this is pretty much the finished product. Nothing fancy looking, um, but it gets the job done. And we're gonna add this one small piece right here so we can attach a piece of cardboard by a clip. So you can stop right here at this point and just put your cardboard up there and put a target on it if you want. Um, this is gonna do the trick. It's got the steel in the back, so it's gonna stop everything. If you want it to be more quiet, which I do, I'm gonna show you here in a second how we're gonna do that and how this method will actually catch all of the pellets that you shoot. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here is just take an old pillow, some old blankets, some old clothes, and I'm just gonna shove everything in there and make it as tight as possible and just basically get this in there so it's gonna slow down all those pellets and it probably won't, so the pellets won't even reach the steel. Paper clip my cardboard to it and it's good to go. I'm gonna add some tape just to keep this cardboard nice and firm. And what I'm gonna do now is just let you listen to the audio. The pellet gun will make a noise, but you will not hear anything from the trap itself. Always pay attention to what you're shooting at and what is behind your target, guys. I'm gonna let you listen. Okay guys, so as you can see, this, this gets the job done. Uh, it, it's a perfect way to, to, to uh, scratch that itch of, of wanting to shoot and you can do it right there in your backyard and it doesn't really make any noise to where nobody's really gonna know what you're doing. Yeah, the, the pellet gun makes a little bit of noise, but you know, uh, the, even that's not too bad and depending on which one you get, the more money you wanna spend on a pellet gun, then you know, the quieter they can get. But um, yeah, this is, it's perfect. You just take in the backyard, the kids can do it. You can teach kids how to shoot a gun and they can handle it because it has doesn't have any loud noise, doesn't have any blowback or anything like that. There's no major recoil. Uh, perfect way to spend an afternoon uh, in the backyard. The air rifle itself, I got it from my local sporting goods store. It was on sale for like $100 and they had one without the scope, but that was $100 as well. So I figured I'd get the one that's on sale and it comes with a scope, even if I think the scope is trash or if it's good or bad or whatever, it's 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 free at that point. So uh, that's what I picked up. It's a Hatson, Hatson uh, Air Tac is what it is. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's powerful. It's not a toy. I mean, you definitely don't wanna just, you know, hand it to the kid or anything. I mean, accidents happen and, you know, you definitely want some supervision around. Um, it, it could definitely do some damage to you or even kill you. Um, so nothing to play around with for sure. So YouTube's pretty strict about showing, you know, shooting and, and, and dead animals and things like that. So I'm not gonna show any of that here. Um, I did show you, you know, just a picture of what was in our backyard. So if you wanna see 
anything. I did post some pictures on our social media, check it out. Um, but I'm not gonna show any shooting of dead ants, shooting animals or anything here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Dad Hut for all future videos. See you on the next one, guys.